reflecting Queenie. Queenie would not have wanted me there, but she could hardly expect Dad to attend her trial alone. So I sat beside him in the public gallery as he held himself as still as his Parkinson's would permit, while the prosecution ripped her personality apart. It was a straightforward case of jealousy, they said, and only Queenie seemed surprised when the jury returned a guilty verdict. Up until that point, she'd kept herself aloof, not quite focused on anyone or anything. Now she raised her head towards the gallery and found me. Her fear and confusion beat against my skin, fighting to penetrate my mind. I stayed firm and let it all bounce back to her, as if I were a bat and she the ball. I was not quite three when my mother decided I had special powers. As she told me later, it was the only explanation for the way I seemed to anticipate her every move. She'd be thinking about making an apple pie and before she'd opened her mouth, I'd be wrestling the baking ball out of the cupboard. She'd be wondering how her gran was getting on and before she knew it, I'd be pushing a pad of Basil Dun Bond into her hand. How did you know? She'd ask again and again. And since I hadn't the words to tell her, she concluded I was telepathic. I was four when my big brother fractured our blissful duet. It didn't matter then if she was thinking about baking or writing a letter. His slightest whimper drew her to him. What is it? She crooned. Are you hungry? Do you want your nappy changing? Her sing-song voice embarrassed me. She sounded wrong in the head, as if she were unable to distinguish between a scream of hunger and a summons to clean him up. Weeks passed before I realised she genuinely couldn't tell the difference, that her ears received each cry in my brother's repertoire in an identical way. I realised that if I didn't call out, he's hungry or He's lonely. The moment the baby started to grizzle, we'd never have baked any pies or written any letters again. My mother would look at me in wonder as the baby latched onto her nipple or gurgled in her arms. How did you know? 